the video tutorial is about working with hospital round android application so when you click on the gallery you can find an hospital round icon so this is an hospital round icon to launch an application just select an application so the application will be launched now once the application is launched you can find the username and the password text box provide the username and the password and click on login in order to login into the application there is also a checkbox it's a remember me checkbox if you want your application to remember your credential just select the checkbox and click on login so next time when you try to login into the application the system will automatically load the username and the password this another section it's register a new user so if you want to register a new user to an application just click on register new wherein you can provide the user id and the password you can very well check the availability of the user id you are opting for once all the detail is provided you can click on register when you click on register the user will not be able to right away start working with an application a registration request will be sent to a, a portal from where the administrator can activate the user and only when the user get activated he will be able to work with the hospital round application now let me show you the application using an existing user i've already provided the username and the password so let's click on login so once you log in into the application your name will appear over here there are various sections in the application the very first section is current admission when you select current admission it will load all the admissions created so far in the application so here we got the list of all the admissions created so far we can very well load the admission based on the physician we have selected say for example let me select the physician authority charge so once i select the physician it will load only those admission that belongs to the selected physician so once the admission is loaded you can very well click on the required admission to view more detail so once you select an admission you can very well find the patient name the chart number date of birth and rest of the admissions detail so that is about the first section that is current admission how to load an admission how to view the details of an admission the second section is admissions when you click on admission on this section you will be able to create new admission you can filter the admission based on the date range you can load the admission patient wise you can load the admission physician wise as well as you can load the admission based on the location the serving location so let me create new admission first to create new admission click on new button provide the required patient name say john do feed the date of birth set provide the required chart number and to select a physician click consult physician and say follow the charge once you update all the information select create button so once you press the create button an admission will be created and you will be taken to the admission window to update rest of the admission information so to create admission we need to select the provider let me select the provider then the serving location if you have the referring physician you can provide the referring physician name update the authorization number update the floor number update the room number and rest of the detail you can update once you are done with all the details just press create button so it will create a new admission for patient John Doe. So we have successfully created a new uh, admission or an encounter for patient John Doe. Now let us add some ICD and CPT code to an encounter. So in order to add the diagnosis, we select the text box for diagnosis and type the ICD code you want say for example so once you type the ICD code it will automatically load all the 
problems that is having the code select the problem to add let me add one more problem say hypertension so hypertension so I added two diagnosis code let me also add the CPT code the procedure code say office visit 99213 then 99212 now the cpt code are just for the demo purpose you can very well add the required cpt codes so select the required cpt code that's how you can add the diagnosis and the procedure codes there is also a way to uh, select and diagnosis code from the favorite list so in order to do that just click on this star button just press the star button it will load the all diagnosis code marked as favorite let me select uh, hypothyroidism and press save so I have added the third diagnosis code also any problem can be marked as favorite by selecting the problem and selecting the star so this will add the problem to a favorite list so that is about adding diagnosis code and the CPT code. Now to add CPT code to the favorite list also works in the same way as we did for the diagnosis code. You can also provide the diagnosis note if you have any. So once you added the detail just select the required CPT codes. You can also set the relation. So to show the relation of the CPTs associated with three different problems now let us submit the CPT code for billing just select the CPT codes of the procedure code and click on submit for billing now once you modify anything you always need to click on save So once you save the data, you can very well select the CPT code and click on submit. So the selected CPT code will be submitted for billing. Here I would also like to tell you about adding the CPT details, which is very important. Just select the CPT code. So it will open the CPT details window. You can provide the date of service from in two range based on the date of service it will automatically add the units and then finally you can click on save so from CPT detail window you can very well add the date range for date of service and the units before submitting it for the billing so that's how we can create new admission we can add the admission detail, we can add the diagnosis code and the procedure code, we can modify the details, we can save it and finally we can submit it for billing. Now let's check the other sections. The next section is date. Now you can very well filter admissions based on the selected date range. So select the date, select the provider. And select the date range. Now let's see whether we are able to fetch the admission we have created based on the date selected. Click on search. So we are able to load the admission we, we have created on today's date that is for John Doe. So that's how the search will work. Next section is patient. Here we can load the admission based on the selected patient let's type to John and search so now we are able to load the admission based on the selected patient now let's do it by physician So select a physician, authority charge, and we are able to 
load the admission for patient John Doe. Let's do it by the location. Select location. And select the serving location. So here we have successfully loaded the admission for patient John Doe based on the serving location. Now last is all. So it will list it will load all the admission we have created so far. So that is about working with the admission, searching an admission or filtering out an admission. So third section of the application, the third main section of an application is patient. When you click on the patient, you can search the patient based on the physician, last name, first name, birth date as well as through a chart number. Here we have also have a provision of creating a new patient. We already created a new patient when we have created an admission but if you don't want to create an admission but directly want to create a patient that can be done from here when you click on create it will allow you to create a patient the process of creating a patient is same next is physician when you click a physician you can very well add new physician to add new physician click on new physician button then provide all the personal details specialty email id and click on create to create new physician so once all the detail is updated you just need to click on create button so when you press the create button it will create new physician so that is about physician registration now to add it the physician information to update the physician is known you can press search and manage physician here you can search the physician based on the name city state specialty NPI once you search the physician based on the provided criteria you can select the physician to add it click on add it to edit the physician information so that's how you can update the physician information the next section is referring physician so referring physician is basically when you select the referring physician if you want to add new referring physician just click on new referring physician button once you select the new referring physician it will allow you to add the details for new referring physician provide the details first name last name NPI specialty and once you are done with the information just click on create same way you can edit the referring physician just select the search and manage referring physician enter the name of the physician click on search once you search the physician or the searched physician is loaded just select the physician and click on edit button to add the physician information so that is about creating and editing referring physician and the last section is serving location select the serving location to add new serving location when you click on new serving location button it will allow you to add the new serving location provide the location code location name address city state zip phone number place of service npi etc and click on create and to update the existing serving location click on manage serving location search the serving location once the serving locations are loaded you select the serving location required serving location view the details and if you want to edit it click on add it update the required information and finally click on update button so that is about creating new serving location and updating the serving location so that's how we can work with the hospital round application you can create new admissions you can edit admissions you can uh, add diagnosis and procedure code you can submit it for billing you can create new patients you can search the patients you can create new physician referring physician serving location thank you